what's happening y'all welcome back to the channel sorry it's been a minute since i put out a video but i've <clears throat> been busy living life and doing stuff like that so we're back out at, at it today it's been about a month since i've been out here fishing so we're full-blown fall at this point it is the end of october almost the beginning of november so hopefully the trout have moved in hopefully there's some still some red sitting around but today i'm going to throw all soft plastics i'm going to start with the southern salt hoodwink i'm going to hit start hitting this guy up first of all with the old procure inshore salt water and uh i'm hoping to get on some fish i only got two days to fish until i am done for the year i gotta have a pretty major knee surgery in two days so i got today and tomorrow to fish so hopefully i can get out at least one video hopefully two i'm gonna have a podcast coming up i just filmed last night with my buddy from nature's beat tv um so i'm not for sure when that'll drop but i'll put it out on my channel it's going to be on all of his socials also so when that comes out i'll let y'all know but if you got time grab a beer and let's go fishing There we go. All right, fish on finally. First one of the day. What do we got? Doesn't feel nothing too major. Oh, nice little trout. All right. That's what I was hoping for. Let's get in here, dude. Nope, come here, buddy. Come here, man. There we go. Heck yeah. I've switched over to a popping cork with a voodoo shrimp on. And got a decent sized trout on here. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah, this is what I was hoping for. I said it in my intro, I was hoping that the trout have moved in being this time of year. And here we go, first one of the day. All right, give it up, buddy. Come on, man. There we go, all right. Get you a look at this guy, get a measure on him. I think he's gonna be close, but you pretty nice little fish, man. Open up, show them your fangs. Let's um, oh, let's get a measurement on this dude real quick. See if he can go home or if he's gonna have to go back. Let's check. So here in North Carolina, they gotta be 14. I got a feeling this guy's gonna be close to 15. So let's see where I'm at. Let's see. Heck yeah, 15. 15 and a quarter, so sweet. I got dinner, so I don't have to starve this week now. So yeah, there we go. We'll get this dude bled out, get him put on some ice. I had a guy ask me once, what do I talk about whenever I bleed these fish out? So you can do it two ways. Number one, you can just cut their gills. That's a fairly effective way to do it. And number two, what I do is like right there below their throat is where their gills come together. They're, they're like us. That's their carotid artery. So I will take my shears and I will cut that. That way it kills them fast, gets all that blood out of there, makes the meat taste better. And I'm not going to show that on video because YouTube's kind of weird on their stuff. But let's go. First fish of the day. There we got a fish on. First one of day two. Feels decent, whatever it is. I'm assuming it's a flounder the way it's staying down. Let's see what we're working with. That it is, as always. Oh, there we go, buddy. Come on, man. Oh, he did not like that net, that's for sure. Come on, man. Get up here, bud. 
I haven't caught one of these dudes in a while. As you've seen in the earlier video from yesterday, well, I, I probably won't put it in there, but I would hooked one and lost it right at the kayak, and it was a pretty small one, but... All right. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, man. Why you always got to... Why you guys got to do this? Why? Hey, knock it off, dummy. Knock it off. These guys are so hard to handle. All right, here we go. Got this guy on the purple K-Wiggler. Give it up, man. There we go. All right, there you go. Purple K-Wiggler right there. Nice flounder. He's probably, I don't know, 15. He'd be right about legal if, you know, North Carolina would ever put him in season. But appreciate the fight, dude. Okay, we got something hooked up again. I didn't even realize I had a fish on there. I was just reeling in. And looks like another flounder, as always. Let's see if we can get this dude in the boat to show it to you. Come here, man. Get in there. Here we go. All right. Flounder number two. And I know earlier I said I caught it on the purple K-Wiggler. I lied to you. It's actually the slick lure is what it is. I know they both pretty much look very similar, but I want to make sure I'm telling you the right thing of what I'm using. All right. Dang, I got a mess here. All right, there we go. All right, he's just a small guy, but nonetheless, it's another fish. So here we go. He's probably only about 12 inches, something like that, but it's um, flounder number two for the day. Appreciate the fight, man. Okay, we're hooked up. It doesn't look like it's nothing too big, but let's see. It almost looks like a trout. He's skiing right at me now. <laughs> ah, what is that? Little red. All right. I've been looking for one of these all day. Okay. He ain't going to be big enough to keep, but I'm happy to see him. Because like I always tell y'all, no matter what, these are my favorite fish to catch. I wish I was better at catching them, but we're starting to be a little bit, so it would be nice to uh, find his mommy or daddy. You would think that it's gotta be around here somewhere. Let's, let's get this dude hooked up here and I'll show him off to you real quick. Come on, buddy, open your mouth. Come on, there you go. All right, here we go. First look at this guy for, for y'all. What do we got on this side? He's all spotted up. Hey, hey, hey. So what's he got? Two, four. He's got five spots on that side. Uh, this other side, he's got three. So he got eight all together, man. That dude's, he's going to be pretty whenever he grows up. So be cool if I could find him again at another time, another place. But until then, appreciate the fight, dude. Okay. Well, oh, he's running at me. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Come on, Billy. Don't. There he is. All right. I caught up with him, maybe. What do we got? What do we got? Another little red. Dang it, man. Where's your parents at, man? Come here. Get in here, dude. Man. All right. Red fish again. I like it. This dude about ran me square into the boat. I thought for sure I was going to lose him. Once again, he's not going to be big enough to keep. This one's only got two spots on him, but you can see, man. Well, I don't know how well you can see it in, in the cameras. You can never tell, but, man, their tails are so blue. Just two spots on this guy. He's probably, I don't know, maybe 13 inches, 14 at the most, something like that. But once again, I'll take it. Appreciate the fight, dude. Well, I just realized I didn't have my camera rolling. So I apologize for that one. But nonetheless, we got another flatfish. Not a real big one. But it is one. Let's get this dude undone, showing off to you real quick. Come here, bud. Give it up, man. Here we go. Come on, I go, dummy. Come on, you don't want that. It's not good for you. 
All right, let's show them off real quick. He's actually not a bad sized one. He'd be a little short of keeper, you know, if they wasn't so endangered, but appreciate the fight, dude. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's see what we're working with. Get up here, buddy, a little redfish. All right, man, it's a floundering redfish kind of day. There we go, man, all right. Another one that's too small to keep. Of course, you know. I ain't gonna complain too much because no matter what I'm still catching fish so I'm always happy about that one be nice to find mama dead but beggars can't be choosers man I'm gonna take what I can get today's my last day to fish for quite a while anyway and I'm not getting skunked I'm sorry buddy I got you in there deep didn't I dang it man oh I'm trying to not hurt you, dude. I'm trying. Man. Maybe, maybe, come on, buddy. I know, dude, you don't know what to think, do you? I know. Holy crap. I don't want to not get it out of you, man. Dang. You did not make this easy on me, buddy. You wanted that thing, didn't you? You choked it way down in there. There we go. All right. Show you off to this guy real quick. I need to get him back. He's been out for far too long. Looks like he's swimming off, so that's... Oh, you got to be kidding me. Very next cast. <laughs> well, let's see if I can screw this one up. This one doesn't feel nearly as big as the last one. But let's see. Oh, yeah, it's a little dude. Look at him skiing in here. <laughs> All right, come on, buddy. Well, <laughs> and it just popped out. <laughs> Dang. Well, this does not make up for that one. I literally just lost that was <laughs> That was, <laughs> I know YouTube's a lot of fake stuff, man. But that literally was my very next cast. I caught this dude. So <laughs> there you go. He's a little dude. I mean, at least that'll help make me chuckle a little bit. Because after losing that last one, <laughs> that, was, uh, that was pretty frustrating. So <laughs> at least I got something there to make me laugh a little bit. Do I got him? Yeah, I do got something. I bet you a dollar it's a flounder. Oh yeah, and it's a stud flounder at that. Jeez. That's a good one. 
Get in here, buddy. Oh, keep your head down. Keep your head down. Keep your head down. Come on. I know. I know. I know. You don't. Oh, and there he goes. Oh, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> I pulled the hook and he was too slow getting away from me. So I get to show him off to you. I didn't lose one. <laughs> oh, geez. Some days are really bad and some days, you know, it's, you just get what you get. Here we go. Let's look at this dude. This is my biggest one I've caught in a while. Dang. That dude there is a healthy one. I know I obviously can't keep him. But I want to measure him just to get an idea of what this dude's sitting at. Give you guys an idea of what type of flounder we have in North Carolina that, you know, we ain't allowed to keep. He's right at 19. It's a 19 inch flounder. He's a good one, that's for sure. One last look at him. Let's get him back so maybe one day and God only knows when. Look at him. And then he jumped right back in the boat. He didn't want to go home. See North Carolina wildlife? They're just trying to come home with me, man. They, uh, you guys need to open this stuff up, man. We got plenty of them. I know what y'all say, there's a shortage but you're a liar. Wow, this is by far the smallest trout I've ever possibly seen. Look at this dude. Look at how small that guy is. I'll give you a reference point here. I'm throwing a four inch swim bait. I wanna be quick with this guy because I wanna get him back. All right. There's my fish, there's my bait. So he's maybe six inches, something like that. But look at that little dude. All right, man, appreciate the fight. With catching that little trout, that completes my slam for the day. But I'm curious as to get y'all's opinion. So let me know down below what you think. Do you count a slam regardless if they're keeper size? Or do you only count a slam if all three of them our keeper, even though we can't keep flounder, you know, our, our size here is 15 inches. So anything about 15 inches would technically be a keeper. And what do you guys consider? Let me know down below. I'm going to do it just because I ain't that good of a fisherman. So I got to slam. So I'll pat myself on the back. If I had good shoulders, I would, but you know, either way, let me know down below. How do you guys consider it? Here we go. All right. What the heck do we got? This is right at the last minute, man. I, uh, I was getting pretty close to being done fishing. So this works out. What is it? Small redfish again. Not a bad way to end the day. Not a bad way. Does not look like he gonna be big enough to keep as always. You know, I had one shot at catching their mom and dad. 
and I blew it. So I at least got this guy. Let's get you unhooked here, dude. Try not to hurt you. There we go. Show you off to the camera. We'll get you back. He's not a bad sized one, but either way, I still love catching these dudes no matter what. So get you a good look at his tail right there. Oh, come here, buddy. Come here. 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 My bad, man. I ain't trying to hurt you. Nope, I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm trying to take care of you so you can grow up and maybe I can catch you next year. One last look at this dude. Appreciate the fight, man. Well, y'all, that's going to wrap up my fishing for all of 2024. Today is October 31st, and I believe I said it, at least in the intro, maybe somewhere else in this video. I'm not really for sure. I've got to have pretty major knee surgery tomorrow. So I got out yesterday, I got out today. I have no clue when you'll see this video. I'm going to be laid up for a couple months. I um, don't know when I'll feel well enough to do the editing and stuff like that, but for those of you that have tuned in this whole year of me starting this venture on YouTube, thank you. I greatly appreciate it. I didn't figure there'd be about 10 of y'all that would watch. And the fact that I've had some pretty decent sized videos as far as I'm concerned, got a decent subscriber count. Thank you. I, I do greatly appreciate it. I will try to put some stuff out when I can. Um, I know I've got a podcast already filmed with Nature Beat. Um, he's doing all the editing and all that type of stuff on it. So when I post that, I'm not really for sure. It's whenever he gets done with it and whenever I can actually feel well enough to post it. But that'll be coming. you see this video. And while I'm laid up, because I'm probably not going to be able to fish for probably five or six months, I'm going to try to do some different stuff just to keep the channel going of whether that be trying different fish recipes because I do got stuff in the freezer already whether that be tackle maintenance or whatever that I can try to put out without actually fishing. So I'm going to do my best to keep everything going until spring of next year. But as, um, definitely appreciate you guys. Leave me any comments or anything below. And uh, remember, it's always nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice.